you sit down and talk like that. I mean, it's nonsense, nonsense, you can't nonsense, you know? It's, it's crazy. I feel... What's up YouTube? What's cool? What's going on? What's happening? It's time for life. So I've come across this article and it's about good old Tony Braxton. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. I love Tony Braxton. I love all her songs, even though it was kind of more mature and less poppy and like quite like deep stuff. I used to love it as a kid. And yeah, like I really really love Toni Braxton and her voice. I love her voice because it's like deep amazing amazing artist, but recently She came out uh, Saying that she regrets not having more of the tantantana and drinking and smoking during her 20s now Okay, uh, look we all know how she grew up family of six five girls one guy and they were very churchy, they grew up very churchy. Uh, they grew up in the church, they were Jehovah's Witness, then they were Catholic, and eventually they settled on being United Methodist. And yeah, you know, they were just very, very religious. But then she shared some secrets of her youth, and she says she regrets the fact that she did not experience as much as she would have liked. Quote, she says, I regret not having more sex when I was younger. Should have drunk more. I should have partied more, smoked more. I think my religious upbringing stopped me doing a lot of things that I could have done. It's not a good look at my age. I am now, and she's 52. The way it works is you do that stuff in your 20s and 30s, and in your 40s, you've earned enough to pay for the therapy. This is what she said. Now, apparently this article was originally posted by uh, on madamenoir.com. It's not a good idea as a Christian to do all those things. What type of the religion is telling you to do all those things before you mature? I don't know. Which side of the Bible I... is telling you to do all those things before you hit your 60s and spend money to go and, and treat yourself? I'm just kind of baffled by the whole thing. Nobody at all is asking for anything. Nobody at all is expecting. Everybody's living their merry lives. Here comes Tony Braxton. I wish I was it up in the streets when I was younger. I'm confused. I'm confused to hear this from her. Obviously a mature lady. You know all these ladies, they're mature as one would say, but the age doesn't even matter because they look young, they act young, they dress young, they feel young probably, hopefully for them. And they look extremely young, they look great. Now, I've watched Harris Milan and Lovely T, and you know, all of them, the general consensus was, okay, obviously there were people who lived this lifestyle, rough, wild, free. And we all knew, we all know how their lives turned up. I mean, you look at them now, they look old, shriveled up, you know, they don't look healthy. And Toni Braxton is somebody, she's got lupus as well. So it's it's not the wisest thing to be out here advocating for being young and acting a fool, basically. For me, this is acting a fool. And even, I'm a Christian myself, even if you're gonna say, you're gonna put the Christianity thing aside completely, right? Normal human logic. Everybody has negative connotations to what she's saying now. The drinking a lot, even if you're not a Christian, it's not the best. And it's not just the best because you go out, you drink a lot, you forget things, you act crazy, uh, and you know, you can say th things that you didn't want to say, you can do things that you shouldn't have been doing, and it can be quite detrimental, like you, you don't have control over your body, that's just what it is. But there's obviously a lot of allure put to that, like that's fun, that's so funny, this and that, right? But it's, except for it's not. It's not funny to wake up and not know what you did the night before. And sometimes people might think it's funny, you know. The thing is, I feel like I need to speak up because there's a lot of the youth these days that don't know the implications of these things. And all they see is these celebrities hyping up horrible behavior. And I would never expect to get that from somebody who is 52. Let's even forget the age. Like she's a she's a grown woman. She's been in this industry for decades. It's not like one of these young young ones that are coming along that are in their twenties that are saying these things. Live wild and free. We're young. Da da da. At least you have some maturity behind you, and it's, none of this is negative. Because usually when you say terms like maturity and older, and people are like, oh my gosh, you no, that's a good thing. 
okay especially in this day and age that this day and age that people are not even living to see certain ages this is a good thing she's reached 52 it's something to be proud of now you don't come out and then now be saying these things i know see this is why i don't have idols and role models my idol is jesus christ because he ain't never did nothing nothing wrong to nobody that's my idol right there all these rest of these people walking on the face of the earth they are not perfect they're super flawed this is why you people should stop running behind all these celebrities trying to do what they're trying what they do this therapy she's talking about you in your 20s try and live that life that she's talking about we'll talk again in 30 years you will see that you will not have that money to go to therapy first of all you will just not you will not have it <laughs> because you don't have that money you will not be able to do that you would have destroyed all your internal organs you would have done a lot of things you regret maybe have some babies on the side that you didn't even plan for that you didn't even really want but oh oh well another oops baby another oops baby because of a drunken night you would have been sharing Eh? your hoo-ha with the entire globe for everybody to ridicule you make fun of you and for you to put yourself at risk for of diseases because they're still out there you know and the smoking more you would have been talking like this because <laughs> that's eventually what can happen not everybody some people get the sexy raspy voice and but we don't know what it does long term obviously anybody can at any point whether you do all these things or not. Uh, but I'm just trying to let y'all know that this is not where your happiness should stem from. This is not where happiness comes from. And this is a weird regret for her to have. Very strange regret. This is a lady who, and uh, Lovely T said this in her podcast slash video. This is a lady who has been bankrupt before, talked about her regrets in handling her finances, not handling it properly, like what she could have done that could help like future artists, like get a good lawyer, do this and that, get a good manager, you know, look out for this and that. These are things she could have spoken about or she could have kept it very general if she didn't want to bring in people's names and really be talking about people, she could have done it very general. If you're gonna give advice, let it be advice, not bad advice. Like let it be something that people can take and, and and thrive. I don't know why she said this. I can't imagine why you would be interviewed and be saying this. I'm confused. I think it's very bad. What are you trying to tell these children who are coming up? What are you trying to tell your own children? I mean, it's weird. It's very weird because yeah, she does have a child and you know, with these celebrities, sometimes I wonder, some of them don't have children. Some of them don't have children yet, so they're just running their mouths saying all kinds of things. They think they're going to be 22 forever. Then they, they start having kids and stuff, and their kids are looking back to see who their parents are and seeing all this stuff. That's embarrassing. What kind of conversations and meetings are you going to have after that? You know, it's just embarrassing. And then actually, Lil Duval, one of these rappers, commented, I don't even know where, but you can find this on the Shade Room on Instagram. And when, yeah, you know, about her having the regrets and this and that. And he said, no, you looking at this wrong. You 50 some now. This is the best time for you to be a Think about it. It's harder for you to get pregnant. And the only disease you got to worry about is catching disease from these old jiggers. This is your prime. Moral of the story, live your best life, sugar. Just stick with the old jiggers, though. Because though these young boys gonna run through you and screw up your legacy love Lil Duval and I think he's just taking a piss at what she said that's the thing people will start trolling you people will start saying ridiculous things because what you said was ridiculous but then I saw that uh, apparently a new album or something is coming out so some of this stuff might be a publicity stunt because obviously now everybody's talking about Tony Braxton they're gonna see what music is out but i always think these publicity strands are weird because that never entices me to go and listen to their album i'm just like why did you say that that's weird i am definitely not going to listen to your <laughs> album like it's harder these days to separate the art from the artist because you're just thinking the person who's behind all this music that i'm listening to and that's you, you can sometimes even wake up singing to these people humming these people's songs and it's like that's that's weird you know it's all in our brain it's all seeping in there and it's like you're supporting these people to the max and they're not doing things that is supporting the community that is supporting people that is supporting young people this is 2020 this year is messed the heck up we need positive stuff we need positive things we need things that's going to make people thrive we don't need people having oops babies all over the place because their idol tony braxton said that she regretted not being a she was younger so 
oh well, I guess they feel like they shouldn't have that regret, so they should go and it up. It's actually just, a lot of people have said a lot of things. I just did not expect this from Tony Braxton. You can be a Christian, still have a good life, still have fun, still party, still do whatever. This is not the way. People like this make Christianity seem as this very boring thing that you're just in the corner and you're not. Christians can drink. Some Christians drink. Some people choose not to drink. You can drink. But the fact of getting, you know, uh, drinking more, for what? For why? I don't know. I'm just confused. There's a little case not to follow this example. It will lead them to danger. Yeah. A lot of people will say, oh, but she's not supposed to raise your kids. So if your kids are listening to this and they're like, okay, I'm going to follow what she's saying. We forget that there's a lot of people that are very vulnerable. They're in a situation where they don't have a stable household or they kind of do, but the parents are never around to listen. They have all this peer pressure. They have all this pressure from from school and from what their friends are doing. You know what I mean? Like in that case, they start to look up to these people. That's why these people are idols and because some people don't have enough of those in their family or in close proximity that can teach them, hey, it's like this, it's like that. You know, this is this is the wrong advice. It doesn't even matter if you're religious or not. This is weird advice. Anybody will tell you that this is a, this is, well, the thing is, it's not advice, but you have to know that you have a platform and you have a voice and you can't just be out here just talking about anything and everything. You can't. It's weird. We all know that these people influence. That's why we call these YouTubers influencers because they have an influence. And celebrities too, they're influencers. They influence certain people. So you gotta be careful. It's just not a good look. But maybe it's promo for this new album, single, whatever it is. Anyway, Miss Toni Braxton, I love your art. I love everything that you've done so far, music wise. Amazing, amazing. Vocals on a thousand. But this ain't it. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump stop as on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think about the situation. Do you think she should have, you know, changed the way she worded it or she should have just not said anything at all about this? Keep your regrets to yourself. You can't change it anyway. Why bring it out to the world for the rest of us to enjoy your regrets or know about your regrets? You can't change it. Or she should have just given another regret that actually could have been advice for people, for young and impressionable fans or for even grown people that are coming up and would have loved to hear that from their icon. What do you think? And whilst you're doing all that liking and commenting, hit the <laughs> notification bell. I will see you in the next one, which will be very soon. Next time, for Glorious Life, it's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm. I didn't know that she was like that. She has those thoughts, you know? Yeah. How can you think, how can you talk like that? This is a dangerous time. Yeah. The world is going crazy. And you bring this stupid idea, you know? The kids are not even behaving well now. Mm -mm. And then you come and add something else to it. Mm -hmm. Look at the amount of teenage pregnancy that we have. Imagine. The children are throwing their lives away. Hmm. And who will be the leader? You know, no, I guess you stop that. It's not good. It's just sad. It's like every day there's a new nonsense coming out. Every day there's a new uh -huh. thing coming out. It's like y'all need to fix your life. Like I think I think celebrities are bored. Right now celebrities are bored. Yeah. Even if you are bored, you can't do that. Well. Find something to do. Fifty two. Where well, learn how to make a sweater. <laughs> Feel like telling Tolly Braxton. To unbreak my heart. Literally, those first lines of her song is literally what I feel right now. Because I just feel like it's it's like having a friend and all of a sudden they say something and you're like, do I know you? We've been yeah. here all this while, but I did not think y you had a mindset like that. Okay. Because it's not it's not cool to be a to be a it's not cool. It's not something that is respected or appreciated or anything. Literally. Don't leave me in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Come back and bring back my smile. Come and take these tears away. Hey, me, I'm crying for her. I'm mm. crying for all of them. Like, I hope. Will you tell her you pray for her? Yes. Tony Braxton, mm. I'll pray for you. And your whole family, because you guys are going through it anyway. But I I'm a pray. I'm a pray for y'all. In fact, Lord Jesus Christ, whatever is going through this woman's mind, whatever regrets she's having, maybe this is something she's lacking in her life right now. Lord, replenish it with more of you. The you that she used to know, or probably still knows, but she had a slip and is saying all this stuff. Because the devil stay busy. 
Now everybody is trolling her and making fun of her. Lord, let her life be fruitful and full with things that do not include all these weird stuff that she was talking about. Hey, my goodness. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.